Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. In today's video, I am sharing with you all of my favorite drugstore nude lip colors. So I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week on affordable beauty and fashion. And let's go ahead and get started. So you guys, lipsticks. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lipsticks to share with you guys today. And they're not all traditional lipsticks. There's, I think, three traditionals and then some like liquid lips and things like that as well. These lipsticks are the ones that made the cut when I decluttered a long time ago, uh, maybe, I don't know, four months ago or so because I had so many lipsticks that I had held on for years and I'm like, those are expired and definitely not something that I should still be using. So these are the ones that still kept, like made the cut. I do want to go to the drugstore, try out a bunch of new lipsticks for you guys. I know you guys have kind of requested that as well after my Foundation Friday series. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with the actual lipsticks. Now, this one that I'm gonna start with is one that I actually have on my lips right now with a lip liner and it is so good. These are the, I have two of these. These are the Essence um, lipsticks. They're semi-matte lipsticks and this is in the shade 12 Loyal. It's so pretty, like the perfect nude shade in my opinion. This one's a little bit lighter and so I like to wear this when I want a lot more of like a nude nude, not like as much color, especially for the daytime. Nighttime, I feel like I like to do a little bit of a darker nude. So this is my perfect like everyday nude. Now the next one is Freaky and this one's definitely has a little bit more like, a little bit more pink, a little bit darker, not like a ton, but as you can see, this one's more nude and this one definitely has a little bit more pink to it. Uh, this one maybe has a little bit more orangey undertones. So those are the two next to each other. They're so creamy, which I really, really love. And let, let me just say this right off the bat. Regular lipsticks, by the way, I don't think are really meant to, unless, in my opinion, stay all day. You're definitely going to have to reapply. They will come off on things. I feel like that's why liquid lipsticks are a thing and why I really like liquid lipsticks to an extent. Um, there's something amazing about a regular lipstick, though, from the creaminess and just the ease of it easy ability though it's just a lot easier in my opinion sometimes just put on regular lipstick it's a lot more hydrating and not as much like I don't have to look in the mirror as much where with a liquid lipstick you can get the crusties like all that kind of stuff okay so this one I believe is the nudest of them all we'll see I haven't worn this one in a little bit but it's definitely a favorite this is the wet and wild uh I think it's a matte lipstick in never nude Oh wow, it looks so similar to Loyal. I didn't even notice that. I just feel like it's a little less orangey than Loyal here. They're all so similar, you guys. But this one, if you're looking for a super cheap lipstick, I mean, all three of these are very cheap and good quality and like perfect nude shades. Next, I have a lip that I absolutely love. It's kind of a hybrid, I would say, between a lips liquid lipstick in a lipstick. This is definitely one of the most like hydrating liquid lips I've worn and I used to wear this all the time. Like this was my go-to lip for a long time. This is a Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish. So it definitely has a velvety finish in the shade All Natural Nude. Oh, this one's so good. So for the next four lips, my main recommendation to anyone is to Put on a light layer, smack your lips together, move it around, and then dab it with your fingers. If you are wearing a liquid lipstick, you want to have a light layer that's going to have, like, give you the most chance of it not cracking or giving you, like, let's just be honest, butthole lips where, it, like, literally has a ring here and it looks like a butthole. You don't want that. So do a light layer. I absolutely love this one because it's not too orange, it's not too pink, it's literally right in the middle there and it is a little bit of a darker shade. Not like too dark or anything, but for a nude it's a little bit darker, which I personally really like. Sometimes when you get too light, I feel like my lips kind of disappear in my face. So I like to have a nude that's very neutral, but also a little bit dark, you know, a little bit darker. Next one, this one's newer to me actually. All of the other ones I feel like I've worn for a while, 
I guess other than the Essence ones, maybe. This is the L'Oreal lip color in the shade I Create. Now, L'Oreal is really weird right now, and they don't tell me the names of the actual lipstick on the tube, So, but I'll make sure to link it, and I will make sure to have all the names and everything in a blog post for you guys. So everything will be linked. If you just go down in the des description box, I always have a link to a blog post that you can click on that corresponds with the video, and I'll have links to everything I'm talking about, and if it's something like this, I always include shade names as well. So this is in the shade I Create. Again, such a beautiful lip. This one's just a little bit lighter and a little bit pinkier than this one. I know they look so similar, you guys, but like if you look at them up close, this one does definitely has a little bit more pinkiness to it. I would say the formula is a little bit different as well. This one's a little bit thinner of a consistency than the um, Physician's Formula one, maybe not as hydrating either. So it's just, I feel like you kinda gotta try a couple and see what you like, but these will probably, if you're similar skin tone to me, look really good on your skin tone and be that perfect nude shade. This one I think is gonna look different. The next two, these are OGs for you, for me, guys. Like I have worn these since college. Like I've worn these for a really long time. The first one, I actually got the recommendation from Desi Perkins. She used to wear this all the time. Soft matte lip cream in the shade London. I've repurchased this countless number of times. This one's definitely more on the orangey undertone. So if you have a warmer skin tone, you're gonna really, really like this one, I think. So do you see how it's a little bit like more brown, orangey undertone? These ones have a lot more pink to it. And I love this formula because you can make it be almost like a liquid lipstick where it doesn't transfer. If you do a light layer and you pounce it out, it'll stay all day like that. But it is very creamy and is almost more like a lipstick consistency when you put it on. So if you put more on, it's definitely going to rub off. But it's staying power is amazing. I think that's why so many people like the soft matte lip creams is it's like kind of a good in between of a true liquid lipstick and not a liquid li or just regular lipstick. Now this is probably my all time favorite color, you guys. If I was going out like in college at all, this was on my lips. Game days, literally anytime I wanted to like look nice, this was on my lips. I love this so, so much. And if you followed me for forever, I always talked about this color. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. And this is the darkest one out of the group, but it is so pretty, you guys. It is so, so pretty. This is definitely more on the mauve side of things. It's not as nude. It's so pretty. And when I say mauve, I mean like purpley undertone. And I feel like it doesn't look as good here as it does on the lips. I almost want to put it on for you guys because I think I might because it's just so pretty. It's one of my absolute favorite colors, especially because I don't usually put it on very thick. Um, I put on a thin layer, like I said, and it just looks so good. So this will be good. This will be a demonstration of how I actually do liquid lipsticks as well. I do it sometimes with a lip liner, sometimes not. It depends. I think I need a little bit more. I try to scrape up it off as much as possible. And then I dab it on the lips. See how pretty it is? It's just a darker, mauve nude shade and it'll dry down matte and will be transfer proof as well, which I love. It stays all day. It's seriously amazing. And when I like put on a light layer of it, I feel like you can almost have my like lip color coming through. So it's a little bit more pinky. If you do a dark, like a thicker swipe of this, it's definitely gonna be that darker color where almost I swatched it. But as you can see, definitely looks a little bit more pink on the lips. And it's my number one favorite color in that sense because I just think your lips don't like fade away. You know what I mean? So anyway, that is it for my favorite lipsticks, lip gloss, or yeah, just lipsticks, lip, liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks. Please let me know your favorite shade of lipstick down in the comments. I would love to know. I'm so excited to try out new lipsticks and stuff. Like I said, I decluttered so much stuff. So 
These are like the only lipsticks I have left because I only wanted to keep my favorites. Obviously, I have a bunch of glosses and things like that and some lip liners, but these are my only lipsticks. So let me know your favorite down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe. Check out the link for the link for the blog post where there's links for all the products. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in video very, very soon. Bye, guys.